What's up YouTube, back with another video. Today I wanna um, give you guys a two week update of the garden that I started. And of course when I start, the AC next door starts running, but hey. Um, just wanted to give an update because I know a few people were actually considering starting one. And uh, just wanna give a quick um, a quick look at, at how my uh, seeds are doing, my plants are doing and give you just some more advice of a uh, trial and error type thing that I've been going through since I started. So first let me give you a look at the garden itself. And this is actually two weeks, two weeks worth of growth here at this point in time. And um, you can see it's, it's, it's really starting to flourish as far as the entire garden itself. And I have about seven things growing here from cucumbers, squash, um, kale, uh, strawberries, um, peppers, tomatoes. Uh, I can't even think of everything in there, but I think that's pretty much it. Carrots. Um, so yeah, in two weeks, it's it's grown up pretty, pretty quick. Uh, I really think a lot of that has to do with the weather down here in Florida, the sun the rain and then the good soil that I put down as well. Now, one of the issues, and you'll see something new on here from last time, is I put the netting over the actual bed. And one of the problems that I had was probably around day five, I had a cardinal, a blue jay, and some other type of bird was coming over here trying to eat up everything. And if you remember in the first video that I made, there were some leaves. I kind of stopped for a minute and I thought it was the ants chewing up the leaves but it was the birds. The birds have come in and trying to have tried to take over and eat a lot of the seeds and the leaves off the vegetables. And so I had to get a netting put up to keep them away. Um, there's actually a few things I did to keep them away. Uh, as I did some research on how to keep birds away from a garden. And there's numerous things you can do, but I think the netting is definitely one of the best ones. Um, I also put a wind chime over there. You can hear kind of um, and the, you can hear in the background that wind chime kind of makes noise that kind of scares them off a little bit. Uh, I put an actual, uh, that little sundial in the back that kind of spins and, and gives off a lot of bright light. And I have Mr. Mingo here, uh, the flamingo who's overseeing the garden when I'm not in attendance. He, uh, I read something to where birds don't like to see like big eyes looking back at them and so Mr. Flamingo here has one of the shades and you can see those eyes right there I think that will definitely uh, help scare them away a little bit as well but yeah so the netting though is the biggest part I think that's keeping them away and there's other methods you can put a fake rubber snake in there you can I mean there's other things you can do someone told me you can put some pepper sprinkled in there or something like that um, you know there's other things you can do but I think the netting is the, the biggest biggest piece so I definitely highly recommend you invest in this um, I actually saw the birds come back a couple of times and I just kind of looked out the window and it's funny one of the Cardinals came he flew in this tree up here and he kind of looked down at the netting and he kind of turned his head a couple of times and kind of looked like what is that and then him and his friend just kind of flew off and they didn't bother with it I haven't seen any birds try to bother the, the garden after I put the netting down so highly recommend that you invest in that as well they don't sell the netting in small pieces so you have to buy um, you have to buy it pretty much in a big roll but it'll last pretty much as many I mean it'll last me for a while I would say at least a year for other things I may plant or maybe even a couple of years you know as well on the last video um, I did not have, I couldn't remember the name of the organic soil that I've been using from Home Depot, but I got another bag of it yesterday. And so I just want to show you guys this. It is the Nature's Care is what it's called. Nature's Care Organic Garden Soil with Water Conserve. And uh, that's what I've been using along with the peat moss that I showed you guys last time as well. Um, I think it's definitely helped with the growth, the fast growth. Um, as well so um, another thing that I recently bought that I think you guys 
may like that I think it will help if you decide to start your garden. This is by Home Note. I got it off Amazon as well. And I know I should have did this in the beginning, but I forgot to do it. But it's bamboo labels for each um, individual vegetable. Uh, the cool thing is it comes with a marker pen. And um, yeah, they're really heavy duty. Really cool. I'd rather use bamboo wood rather than plastic to put in the soil. And so um, I bought some of these. And there's different types of brands you can buy on Amazon. Just Google, I mean, uh, just type in bamboo garden labels and you'll find some, you'll see many companies out there selling it. So I think this came in a pack of uh, 60. Yeah, 60 bamboo labels in this. Um, something I should have did in the beginning when I started the garden, but I didn't. And so now um, I don't know exactly where, what everything is. But I definitely will have it for next time or, you know, when these start to sprout up a little bit more um, when it comes to the garden. So, so yeah, man, if you're interested in starting one, I know a lot of people are bored at home. I think um, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take a lot of materials. It doesn't take a lot of money. I mean, yeah, you're going to have to put in, you know, I invested so far about $160. That's with the seeds, with the soil, with the lumber, with the cylinder blocks with the uh, pretty much everything um, except for the netting I, I bought that and the bamboo sticks separately uh, so for all of your new gardeners out there just keep all of those things in mind I know everyone out there who's already in the gardening is probably thinking yeah you know I could have told you that or you know um, has you know maybe you have other tips and such but this is my first garden so I'm kind of learning the hard way about the about the birds and other things that may um, that may eat the crop now the thing is though I did not want to get a bird feeder because someone I actually read another place you can get a bird feeder so the birds can be uh, deterred away from the garden and would eat the, the bird food out of the the bird feeder but I heard that causes squirrels and other um, animals to come and and uh, and try to get the food so I didn't want to do that so I'm just sticking with the netting the uh, the wind charm and um, Mr. Mingo over here who's keeping a, a good watch on everything. So other than that guys, I just want to show you this is two weeks in. I'll probably do another update in another two weeks on the gardens, show you what it's looking like in a month. Um, the only thing I don't see that has not popped up yet, I don't see uh, the strawberry row sprouting yet. And I planted some broccoli as well. I don't see those seedings starting to pop up yet, but those might be taking a little bit longer. So I'll keep you updated on those. Other than that, I hope you guys are doing well. I'll check you out on the next video. Peace.